is about the duplicate proofs. <coughs> so validation rules are help us to validate our data. Similarly, duplicate rules help us to do not enter a view or create a duplicate record, right? So it, it gives you ability to take a user defined action, what to do if the duplicate records are being created, or it will help you to block user from creating a duplicate record. Matching rule and duplicate rule works together to ensure your org data is duplicate free. Okay, so before going for the duplicate rule, you need to create the matching rule. Okay, each standard duplicate rule includes a corresponding standard matching rule that determines how the record is identified as a duplicate, right? There are some self by default gives some standard duplicate rules and those are available on your account, person account, contact and layer objects. <coughs> so let's let's see about the demo how we are going to create a matching rule and a duplicate rule to prevent a duplicate data uh, to get entered into the system, right? Let me go back to my system. Okay, here you go. So again, we are going to use the account object for creating a duplicate rule. So for that, again, I'm going for the setter, go to the home section now. This time we are not going for treatment. Here, in a quick find, you can find duplicate rule, right? So before going for the duplicate rule, we need to create a matching rule. Click on a matching rule. Okay. Right. Here you can see the button at the new matching rule. So I click on a new. So now I need to select on which object I wanted to create a matching rule, right? So go ahead and select the account object. Click on the next. Okay. And select the rule name. Let's say the rule name is a duplicate account. Okay. <coughs> Description. Then the matching criteria. This will help me to identify. Let's say I'm selecting account. I don't want it to enter uh, account name, the similar account name into the system, right? So I select the option, uh, the field as account name. The matching method is the exact match or the for zero. So for this section, we are going to use as the exact. Okay, match a blank field as well. So if you select this section, it's going to uh, match your records with a blank blank field as well. Okay, now so let's click on the save. Yeah, so now you have created the matching rule, but the matching rule is not yet activated, right? So go ahead, click on the activate button. By clicking this, you can see the matching rule is activated. It will send you the notification. Click on OK. Yep, you can see the rule status is active, right? Now go ahead and create a duplicate rule. So click on duplicate rule. <coughs> Similarly, if you click on the new rule, you can select all the available objects. So go ahead, select account as object. Right here, so I'm going to put the same as a duplicate account. Enforce the sharing rule. Make sure here when you select the enforce as a sharing rule, this is specifically for the record level security. Don't buy, uh, you can select the option as a bypass sharing rules. But for this example, I'm going to use the enforce the sharing rule option. Okay, then you can come to the section as action. This will help you to what action that your system wanted to take okay so if you go to the drop down you can select either allow or the block okay so i'm going to select as a block because i don't want it to have the duplicate record to be get created same for the edit option as well right alert text yes so here i'm going to show all the matching uh, available records and asking the user to select the one of these records right Compare with this object account, right? Then you have to you are supposed to select the matching rules. 
rules. So here you can see uh, you can see all the available matching rules. From this, we are going to select the duplicate account matching rule, which we have created in a previous step. Okay. So if you click on add rule, you can add the another rule. You can remove this rule. Right? If you wanted to put any specific condition on uh, the specific record that you wanted to have, you can put the condition, or you can click as a save to proceed. So your rule has been created, but it is not yet activated. So make sure before testing, you activated this rule. So click on activate button, wait for some time, boom, your rule has been activated. So let's go ahead and see if it allowed me to create a duplicate record. So here's our account Apex as we had created, right? It's only represent in system. So we are going to create another account with the same name. Click on a new, right? So here I'm going to put account name as Apexa, account number is ACC 100. I'm going to put other flings as a blank. Click on save. Here you can see this record looks like a duplicate. View the duplicate records. When you click on duplicates, you can see the existing records. And you click on existing record, right? And if you wanted to go ahead and update any field of this record, you can go ahead and update of it. So by this way, you can restrict the user from creating a duplicate record or editing any existing record. <clears throat> Similarly, uh, there are the key things we need to remember whenever we work with the duplicate rules. Let's see what are those fields. You can use up to five active duplicate rules per object, right? So you, you saw that uh, I click on add rule button, it helps you to add the multiple rules, right? So you can have the five active duplicate rules per object. If the first duplicate rule find the match for the particular record, subsequent duplicate rules keep that record. Right, condition under which duplicate rule don't run. So, the records are created using a quick create or the community self registration. Leads are converted to account or account tag. Records are restored with the undelete button. Records are added using a lightning sync. And records are manually merged. So, on these conditions, duplicate rules don't run. Conditions under which duplicate rules setting are overridden. If the record are added using a data import tool, right? So Salesforce having a data import tool, which helps you to import the data from the external system to the Salesforce. Records are added or edited using a Salesforce API. So as you know, Salesforce is a platform which allows you to work with the platform using a API. If you are added or edited the record using a Salesforce API, uh, duplicate settings are overridden in this case. A person account is converted to a business account and the newly created business account matches the existing account. So, yeah. The translation workbench doesn't support the customizable alert text in a duplicate rule. So what is the translation workbench? So basically translation workbench allows you to uh, use the international localization to translate your message to uh, any locale, of the user, but uh, duplicate rule doesn't support in this alert text, so alert text always whatever the message you put in alert text is always going to display onto the page. 